Welcome and hello. This is a video lesson in the FHWA Hydraulic Toolbox. This is the first lesson where we're going to demonstrate how to download and install the program. If you already have the program downloaded and installed, feel free to advance to one of the other videos in this playlist to learn about how the program works. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What I have on the screen is the download page. I will leave a link to this page in the description of the video. So you can click on the description, click on the link, and then download this program just like I'm going to demonstrate. All right, if you don't have this link or for whatever reason it doesn't work, you could probably just go to Google, type in FHWA Hydraulic Toolbox, and then um, enter. It's probably the first link here. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, scroll down a little bit, FHWA Hydraulic Toolbox, and then this is the page that I was just on. All right, the FHWA Hydraulic Toolbox program is a standalone suite of calculators that performs routine hydrologic and hydraulic analysis and design computations. And then you can go ahead and read more about that. As far as system compatibility here, it says you need a 64-bit Windows operating system. And then further down, it also says FHWA does not provide user assistance or support for this software. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them uh, with me. Leave them in the comments of any of my videos, or I will uh, also leave my email address in the description of this video. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Scroll down a little bit more. You've got the most recent version is 5.4. At least that's true at the time of this recording which is mid-2025. Okay, it looks like this was released actually in 2024, version 5.4. So I'm just going to single left click on this link to download the Hydraulic Toolbox. And that's downloading on my desktop right now. Looks like it's about uh, 87 megabytes. All right, that's downloaded. I have this zip file that's on my desktop. So I'm just going to do a right click, extract all, and then yes, just put it on my desktop. All right, so let's open up that folder. And what we have here is a folder that's set for setup and then executable. So I'm just going to single left click to run that executable, which will install the program on my computer. Okay, my video cut out there, but it basically said, after I clicked the .exe file, it said yes or no, I clicked yes. And then my camera turned off, but yeah, no, I'm back here and I'm at this dialog box. It's uh, the welcome screen. You just basically have to click through a few of these dialog boxes before it will actually install. So go ahead and click on next. This is where you accept the license terms. So click this radio button for I accept, click on the next button. This is telling you where the program is going to install. So if you're happy where that is, just go ahead and click next. Otherwise you can change the location. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to click on next and then click on install. Now we need to wait for a progress bar to pass by. And that looks like it's complete. It has finished and I will click on finish. Okay, so I think we're good there. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on my start menu and search for, how about just toolbox? There it is, hydraulic toolbox 5.4. I'm gonna click on that and open it up. Cool, so we are installed and ready to go. I can now delete these files here because I don't need them anymore. And in the following videos of this playlist, we'll be exploring the different calculators right here. And one last thing I wanted to mention for this video is the user's manual. If you click on the help menu, the hydraulic toolbox user's manual is this first link. So go ahead and click on that. It will open up a PDF document that describes the software. And then here on page three is the table of contents. So there's basically a chapter for each of the tools in the toolbox. I like to just go ahead and save this to my computer, but if you don't want to, that's fine. It's always gonna be available for you right here in the help menu, Hydraulic Toolbox Users Manual. All right, that's it for this lesson. What we did was talk about how to download and install the FHWA Hydraulic Toolbox.